most of us struggle with deep open pvp and look for solutions or ways how to get better and what place is better for that than youtube but me personally i think some of these tips look kind of questionable and as a previous god seeker aka top 11 i'm gonna see if these techs actually work Okay, so he went over the 5 tips as he promised in the video, but the one that stuck out to me the most was record your matches and like, learn from your flaws. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll see if it actually works. Okay, so I looked at the match, and the main things I noticed was, I was blocking a little too much, I was being a little too aggressive, and I wasn't using some matches enough. With those things in mind, let's see how I do in a PvP match. So with the knowledge from the previous matches, I'm not gonna block too much, I'm not gonna play too aggressive, and I'm also gonna utilize my whole kit, which I'm gonna be having plenty of enough opportunity to with all these matches. I don't even know how these work to be honest, but you know, we don't sweat it. So he should have artist streams and then he doesn't even attack me. But what's the point of artist streams? Okay, alright, we're just gonna, okay, not too aggressive, I'm not gonna be too aggressive. We're gonna dodge. Okay, that shit didn't hit. How do I put a symbiotic link on someone? That's my. That's the only thing I want to know right now, because that would help me out a ton. Parasitic reach, symbiotic link. Both of those didn't do shit. One thing I'm learning from this is, instead of just mashing in aggressively, we we play defensive and we wait for a chance. We play like a like a tactical warrior, bro. You know what I mean, guys? Okay. One thing I'm fucking struggling with though is is utilizing my whole gas kit because. God, God, I don't know how to use Link's Rider, neither do I know how to use Shadow. The only reason I'm not using anything Link's Rider related is because, uh, what's it called? I just literally don't know how to activate it. Bop. Bop, he's just kind of making himself vulnerable every single time. Chop it. Did he just block that? What? Okay. GG. You could see that I did, I did really, like, it, it improved my playstyle by a decent bit. Very, very far, very, very nice. But let's get on to the second video. Before that, I'm trying to get 3k subs so I can make better videos faster for y'all. Consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all that shit. And yeah, it's like a win-win for both of us, so just consider it. But let's just get back to the vid. Alright, so to summarize what Sheep said in the video, basically, first he told me that I have to be below 65 ping, which I am in time. That I have to play like I'm fatherless, but I have to play like my life depends on it. He didn't say it exactly like that, but that's how I perceived it, so let's get into the match. And be warned, this is going to be a very rage-inducing match. So, long story short, the account that I was originally playing on didn't even have a shut-up conflict. And the risk account is even better for what I'm trying to do. Because basically, what Sheep's told me, what Sheep has communicated to me, he, he told me that I have to zone cheese people. Like, I literally have to. What I'm gonna do is that, into judgment, in the zone. So we're gonna fight like our lives dep absolutely depend on it. We're not even gonna try to engage, because engaging is scary, but staying back is nice and friendly. We're also playing defensive as f because we need to be. That's what we have to do to win a deep game. I feel really bad, but it's what Sheep told me to do, man. But you can see, Sheep and Sheepskin's playstyle is actually working quite well. Just to wait out here. We have to wait out. We're sneaky like an assassin. Okay, if he went in the zone, that would have been it, bro. Fight, okay, fight like your life depends on it. That's how we win. About this playstyle, very effective, very useful, but it makes my brain rot, and I really feel bad for whoever the f that was. RP to you, bro. I'm really, really sorry. Let's go into a uh, video. So the guy in this video actually gave me some really really nice tips. Basically, you have to slide cast, which I don't have a Kong is cutting, so it's not gonna be as good, and roll cast. Both of these are really really good techniques to master. So let's see how much will they improve my gameplay in time. We're gonna showcase the beautiful power of hold on, hold on, this is about to be so sick. Roll casting. By doing it on a thundercore build I, okay, okay, I can even let me chill for like a second, bro. Like, look at all the f I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just kind of mashing buttons. Because... Okay, see if I roll cast that, I would have been... Like, hit it. Did I roll cast that? Yep. It still didn't hit so long. So, shit like that. Like, okay, okay, that not hitting is actually mad. Like, what are we doing here? And there you can, there you see the power of 
or casting or Funiko, depends on how you want to see it. But it's just really fun, and I like Funiko. Okay, so my final thoughts on this are YouTuber tips can help you out tremendously. Just playing the game normally, doing time, etc., is probably gonna be a lot better than just tips from random people. Things that can really improve the gameplay is just text where you can do something, role casting, etc. So the only thing that will actually help you out, just a straight up buff, is text and you no know, bugs and shit. But besides that, it's really just a slow process of doing more and more time. But anyways, with that being said, like, sub. But thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.